So in this video, I'm going to talk about the anatomy of bones. And so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe the different parts of the bone and their functions. So to begin with, the compact bone, also known as the dense bone, is the outer shell of the long bone. And so the compact bone is just the outer shell of the long bone, and that's what you're going to see when you look at bones mostly. Next, you have the diaphysis, which is just the shaft of the long bone. And the diaphysis, essentially the function of it is to provide leverage. So below on the diagram, you can see it's this structure right here. It's the shaft of the long bone. Next, we have the epiphysis, which is essentially the large, enlarged ends of long bone. So up there and down there is the epiphysis. And it's enlarged to strengthen the joint and attach ligaments to tendons. So up here and down there is where the bone is going to attach to other bones and tendons and ligaments. And so the epiphysis is a place to attach all of those structures and provide added surface area for muscle attachment. And next we're going to talk about the marrow cavity. So the marrow cavity is a space in the shaft of the bone or the diaphysis that contains bone marrow. So as you can see it's essentially right there. It will contain the bone marrow and that's pretty much most its only function. And now let's talk about spongy bone. So spongy bone is always going to be covered with compact bone. So essentially if you ever cut a bone in half you'll see that the middle of the bone looks kind of porous -y. So there's going to be a lot of holes. It kind of looks like a sponge. So that's spongy bone. And so in terms of long bones, spongy bone is found in the central spaces in the ends of the long bone. So essentially right around there. So it's found in the epiphysis essentially towards the end. In other bones that we talked about, for example, flat bones, spongy bone is going to be found in the middle of most other bones such as flat bones. However, one thing to remember is that most of the skeleton is compact bone, not spongy bone. And one last thing I want to mention about spongy bone is that spongy bone is never just left exposed. So spongy bone is always going to be covered by compact bone. And now finally, let's talk about articular cartilage. So articular cartilage is a layer of hyaline cartilage, which essentially just covers the joint surface where two bones meet. And this allows the joint to move easier. So it essentially helps reduce the friction between two bones. And this has obvious benefits. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.